Our verse today is 2 Maccabees chapter 6, verse 19. But he, welcoming death with honor rather than life with pollution, went up to the rack of his own accord, spitting out the flesh. This chapter in the book of Maccabees shows how the Jews were persecuted under the Greek Empire. What we read in this chapter is what Daniel describes as the abomination of desolation. If you read Daniel chapter 11 verse 31 and chapter 12 verse 11. The Jerusalem temple is turned into a shrine to the Greek god Zeus and called the temple of Olympian Zeus. The Gerizim temple is called the temple of Zeus, the friend of strangers. 2 Maccabees chapter 6 verse 2. The temple became a place of cultic prostitution in chapter 6 verse 4. The people were forced to celebrate the king's birthday every month, chapter 6, 7 to 9, and they were made to accept the Greek customs. They were compared to eat meat, sacrifice to idols, and engage in idolatry under the punishment of death. Eliezer was one of the Jewish scribes in high position, a man well advanced in age. He was being forced to eat pork, which the Jews considered unclean and forbidden. If you read Leviticus chapter 11, our verse describes his reaction. Let us break down the actions of Eliezer. First, he welcomed death with honor. This man knew that death was inevitable. He was already well on in years. Why should he sacrifice his honor and good name, which he has built all his life? So he welcomed death with honor. Second, he did not want to pollute his life with unholy practices. In welcoming death, he said no to the unholy practices they wanted to compel him to do. To eat pork meant polluting himself because it was against the law to eat any unclean animal. He preferred to keep himself holy rather than defy himself and his religion. Third, he went up to the rack to be executed of his own accord. He was not afraid to die for his faith. He accepted it willingly. And finally, he spits out the flesh. He could not allow the meat to go down his throat. Eliezer challenges us today about the practice of our faith and Christianity. Our faith detests polluting our lives with practices contrary to the commandments. Anything we do that goes against our faith, our Christian faith, is a kind of pollution. Are we ready to sacrifice those things and choose the path of honor? Refraining from doing things that destroy our faith publicly is taking the position of honor and dying to the world. Saying no to friends and colleagues who want us to compromise our faith is spitting out the flesh. We must stand up against the decisions of the government that are inimical to the faith. We must stand up for our faith in public places, even when all odds are against us. That I alone stand for a position does not mean that the majority is in the right. Lord, give us the courage of Eliezer to stand for our faith in difficult moments. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a lovely day.